I just worked out. So I did strenuous workout, pushing my muscles. After the workout, the amino acids which are in my bloodstream will now go to my muscles to restore the muscles so that they've just injured them in working out. If ever you're sore or you pushed yourself hard to where you're out of breath or you're sore, that means after you finish exercising, the amino acids will all rush to the muscles and no amino acids are left to the brain. So dopamine production has just stopped. That jog that everybody's addicted to, the people that jog, they're addicted to, they're depleting their body of dopamine. Now they'll experience dopamine while they're jogging, okay? Because it is anything which is dangerous, risky, challenging, and that's the challenge. If it's something is challenging me, I'm tired and I keep pushing, then that's going to stimulate dopamine. Very similar to the way the video game stimulates dopamine in the brain. It's challenging. It's pushing you beyond your limit. But while you're being challenged, you're pushing your body, you're getting that endorphin rush, feeling really great, but the endorphin rush means that you just injured your body. So if you feel really great jogging, you've already gotten to the point where you're injuring your body, now your body has to recover, the amino acids in your bloodstream go to your muscles to help recovery, and then you stop producing dopamine in the brain. 